Hi, this is Jason Fielder with the Daily Forex Report for November 10th. We are currently looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This particular pair uh, closed lower today. So far, this new session has continued to move lower. We are looking for this pair to continue overall moving sideways with a bias to the downside. Look for it to potentially move as high as 90.64, possibly as low as 89.08. Look for some resistance around 90.25 and look for some support around 89.50. Now switching over to the Euro USD, this particular pair uh, closed down but just by a little bit. It did tag the high of the previous session uh, but did close down. So we are looking for this pair to move sideways uh, with a bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially move as high as 150.91, possibly as low as 148.74. Look for some resistance around 150.22 and look for some support around 149.35. Okay, now looking at the pound US dollar pair, this particular pair uh, closed lower today. It did come through and close the gap from Friday's quick uh, seven to eight pips. If you saw yesterday's video, we are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with a little bit of a bias to the upside. Look for it to potentially go as high as 168.78 and look for it to move down possibly to 165.04. Look for some resistance around 167.87 and look for some support around 166.00. Now the U.S. Swiss uh, closed even during today's session. Uh, we are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with the buy set of sideways. Look for it to potentially move as high as 1.0161 possibly as low as 10004 look for look for this pair to move uh, or hit some resistance around 1.0125 possibly hitting support at 10050 now let's take a look at this next uh, let's take a look at the news uh, we have the pound releasing the Bank of England quarterly inflation report at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, no real consensus on that. The Australian dollar is releasing their unemployment change for October. Consensus is that it's gone from 40.6K to negative 10K. Now that's being released at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. As far as what I'm looking at during this next session, we have another quick scalp. If you look at... Uh, and that's pretty close to what we're looking at. We have uh, this low here, and we also have this high. Um, you can either use this as a scalp or look at look to take it a little bit further down down to this point down, which would be roughly if we get a break here down about 123 pips, 125 pips or so. So look to go short, look to go to break even, and look to exit. Um, at these points at 1.4937, 1.4917, and then look to leave at one point or exit your trade uh, at 1.4813. Now, I would put a stop loss on this, probably just a hair above this area um, in case it does go against you. So we have about 70 pips worth of uh, 70 to 100 pips worth of risk, and we have a potential of around 125 worth of profit. Uh, I would be, I would take it to break even here uh, because we do have some pretty heavy support at that level. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.